How's it going on guys? Moo here today. I have an insane guide for each and every one of you guys. Yes, you. I see you Don't over there saying, man. oh, he's not Take talking to me. I am talking to you. Too. Get wrecked, son. Sit down. But yeah, guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a very successful game plan to destroy your opponents. Literally just obliterate them. Uh, just, just put them in a blender, you know, stir them up. Um, but yeah, guys, so first things first. We're gonna start at the two point um, play. I don't need the two point position. Is it even a position? It's definitely not a position, but you guys get what I mean. So, for two point, as you guys can see, I have an elite two point run counter. It's the best you can get. It's very solid. If you have the coins, go get the elite one. If you don't, I would really suggest uh, you going to get this gold one, as you can see down here. It's pretty cheap. Now, game plans right now are a little bit more expensive uh, due to the Super Bowl sets, um, the team of the year sets. My bad. Um, but after a little while, these will really drop down in price, and you guys can get these for literally 50k. Uh, two point run though would definitely be your most uh, best, most th the best one to get, guys. You guys know what I mean. Uh, two point short pass is probably um, the most common one if you're in a higher league. Though even though I'm in a higher league, we still all run two point run. So you might as well just get two point run. It's still really good. So yeah, then to the rest of the game plan, we're going to start the, de the defensive unit. So as you guys can see, for my defensive unit, I have the AFC Champions one. This defensive unit, by far, my favorite one out of every single one in the entire game. Now this one has a 100% counter to halfback angle and spot. Two very highly countered plays, as well as a 6% uh, counter chance to short pass and PA fix. It's a very good game plan. If you guys can't afford it, definitely go get it. Um, the set already expired, but I would definitely go pick this one up. Um, it's a little bit rare on the auction house. The NFC one is decent, but that one's all for running. Uh, but again, guys, defensive units, only get them if you have the coins. Because other than that, they're not really worth it. So into the rest of the game plans. For those wondering, why do I need a game plan, Moo? You guys are going to see why. So guys, a game plan is the most important thing. I don't care if you have a 100 overall team and you're going up against a 90 overall. Game plan is going to be what kills your opponent. That opponent can easily kill you. Or kill you. They're not killing you, Moo. You're dumb. This opponent can easily drop 24 points on you if you don't have any game plan in. Even if you have a way higher defense than them. Don't think that cards matter because game plans are what really matters. Game plans, game plans, game plans. Cards can only do so much. Game plans, they, they just do everything, boys. So first thing, you're going to want at least one run game plan counter. Now, for me, I have actually two. Uh, so I have this frozen one, which is a little bit rare. A uh, halfback toss, very used uh, play. As well as halfback counter, two very common run plays. Another one that I have is weak eye double counter plus weak halfback gut. These are pretty cheap, guys. If you guys just sit there and bid on game plans, you can get them for literally dirt cheap. Now, right now, as I said, the prices are in flux, uh, but in the future, they're going to be a lot cheaper. And this is a really, really good one as well. Um, I also have one more, um, and that is uh, Trip Titan Wire Series Corner plus Bunch Hatback Dive. That one also is very good, has the Bunch Hatback Dive counter. You're going to want at least one of these three. I mean, I guess you could get a different one, but if you had to go for one, I would either get the double counter one, or if you can uh, get the one, get the frozen one. The frozen one is really, really solid, and that's one that I'm using currently. So you're also going to want a deep pass counter card. So basically, you're going to want one that has two deep pass ones. Now, there is one. There's one other one that I would suggest. So Chips Corner Strike, it is counter breakable. But by uh, countering this, you actually do eliminate the deep route and spread slot flags. Uh, spread slot flags, a must counter as well. Um, another decent one would be spread slot flags and uh, PA fullback flat. But that one's not double. Uh, that's not a double deep counter. That's one PA and one long pass. So this one uh, definitely uh, must cop if you have the coins. Over to your short pass counters, guys. Short pass counters are where it's at. Now, as you can see, I have a spread FL drag empty shallow cross counter. Um, you guys literally just need a spread FL drag counter no matter what. Uh, there's uh, so many counters. There's a spread FL drag with um, I think it's halfback angle. There's empty shallow cross. I think there's spread halfback screen. Really good plays. Spread off a drag. Really one, a uh, really easy one to counter. Really any counter card works. I like empty shallow cross, uh, but it, it's all up to whatever you guys can get the price for. And again, guys, if you're going for any of these game plans, bid on them. And of course, we have the PA counters. Now for this one, 
This one is not my greatest. I, I definitely could work on this a little bit better. But I have a bunch of PA Pin D plus PA Clear at one. Two highly used plays. Uh, PA Clear at more for the cheesy opponents. And a bunch of PA Pin D more for the skilled opponents. Um, and this one is a really, really good one. Another really common one that I like to use sometimes. PA Fullback Flat plus uh, Tight End Corner. Though it's a little bit more expensive. So this one is a lot cheaper. And it, it really does the job, guys. And again, guys, um, then again, uh, fullback flat and uh, tight end corner are only used by some really cheesy dudes anyways. And then you have your last one, which is what I call the freebie spot. Now, in this situation, as you can see, I have quick slants and halfback angle. Now, this one is kind of just sitting in here for me right now. I already have the halfback angle counter from my defensive unit. So basically, this one is just a single quick slants counter. Quick slants is a uh, short pass play that I would definitely use up your last one to use. You can always go with a mixed play. This is where I definitely will use mixed ones, like a short and a long, a PA and a run, or stuff like that. But I really like to get a quick slant counter in there. Quick slants, really, really good play. And again, uh, this is one example of a really good quick slants play if you don't have the defensive unit. Um, and yeah, so that's going to basically wrap it up for the defensive uh, gold ones. I'm going to hop over to some really good silver ones that you guys can pick up as well. So for the silver game plans, basically what you're just going to pick up, if you do not have the uh, the amount of coins for the gold ones, you should probably just get the spread slot flags, the PA tight end corner, maybe even the Hail Mary one, maybe even motion cross, though that can be counter broken. Um, definitely would get post corners as well. Just if you guys have, have found yourself using play, those plays, you should probably pick them up. Uh, pick them up. Uh, Dive Week is a really good one. And fullback mail is good, smash is good. All of these are really good ones. Hatback angle. Again, guys, if you find yourself using these plays a lot, most likely other people do. And they're good cards. Now, another thing is called live countering. So you can pick up more game plans than you actually have the slots for. Therefore, if someone uses them, you can put them in and basically counter them. But that's more advanced stuff. We'll talk about that later. Uh, so I'm going to go over a few more gold game plans that you guys can get. So looking at the gold game plans... Uh, I'm going to look for a good quick slants one because I didn't really show you guys one that worked with mine. So I'm going to find a good quick slants card that I might want to pick up because quick slants, very, very good card. And I would love you guys all to pick it up. And the only one up right now is uh, Trip Titan Slot Attack. Not a very good one. And I'm just going to sit on this one. I'm not going to really do anything for now. But looking at other gold game plans, just scrolling through here, I'm going to look for any good ones that I notice um, that pop up. Um, I mean, you can always counter a PA slide if you can find a good counter for that. Though, I don't find that the least of my worries. Motion wise stick halfback option would be good, uh, but but Y stick can be counter broken very easily. Uh, PA slide empty shallow cross, that's a pretty good one. I would uh, I would definitely say that's pretty good. Um, let me look for another good one. If you're more into advanced plays, uh, halfback gut and Z cross is pretty good. Um, um, that's actually not a bad one. Halfback option trips deep attack. That's more for the noobs, I would say. Um, there's a uh, okay. Here's another really good one. A uh, halfback blast and halfback counter. That one's really good as well. Uh, that can replace your uh, your run one. Um, trips corner strike hail mary. That's a really good one as well. Um, though hail mary isn't used too much at the higher leaderboards. Um, looking at another one. Uh, there's a spread soft flags one. Not too good there. Um, and looking through. If you guys can get a spot counter, I would definitely go for that once again. But I wouldn't. Uh, I would not waste a spot counter on end around or something trash like that. Uh, PA deep attack, another play that you really need a counter. The thing is, PA deep attack doesn't really have that many counter cards, which makes it so good. Another really good, uh, good one. PA outs and PA tight corner. You guys get the drill. Uh, there's a frozen one there. I told you guys those frozen ones are beastly. Halfback dive, weak and halfback counter. That's a very good one. Uh, let me see if there's any other spread FL drag ones. It's a little bit late right now in at the night uh, at the night Is that even a thing? I don't even know uh, But basically there's not as, a lot of game plans and yeah, those are the, some empty shallow cross ones But you guys get the drill. Those are some really good game plans. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video to recap You guys want a strong run a strong long pass up uh, one a strong short pass a strong PA and for your last one I would go with some sort of short pass play or whatever you think needs to be filled into the gap um, Two-point run, probably the best two-point play. And if you can't get a defensive unit, go for the AFC one. Uh, quickly looking at units, I'll see if anyone's up. I don't think there will be many. Probably just NFC. And there's none up, guys. So that's going to make sure you wrap it up for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, drop a like on the video. Hit that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. 
She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry.